Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lurcy and in this video I want to show you a little bit about cropping. Um, the very basics of how to use the cropping tool, which most of you probably already know, but what I want to talk about is using it in a slightly different way uh, to try and use cropping to add impact to your images. And Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Here's a uh, basic image here and I'm going to go up here to the crop tool and I'm set up here for a basic 8x10 crop. I guess you know one of the most popular crops out there, the 8x10 crop, but since most of the cameras uh, do not shoot in an 8x10 format, you're gonna lose uh, a lot of information that way, which is not always a bad thing. But it doesn't always give you the most impact from your image. So let's just real quick crop this thing. And I'm gonna drag out here and let me point out a couple of things real quick. First off, I like to have my, in here in the options bar, I've got the guide overlay to rule of thirds. You can have nothing and you can have a grid. I like rule of thirds because it, the rule of thirds is such a strong compositional tool that using these grid lines and trying to put your subject at these intersections can really help you to add impact to the piece. So I like to leave that up there just kind of as a reminder. The other big thing is the opacity here. Um, I'm pretty, it's been a while since I've adjusted this, but I think Photoshop probably defaults to like 75 or something like that. I like to turn mine up into right around 90 or so, so maybe even a touch higher. So I can still basically see what's underneath, but it really darkens everything and focuses on what I'm actually going to be cropping to. Uh, when we drop it down, down here, you can see it you almost can't see your cropping at all. So I like to have mine up around 90 so I can still see what's out there but give me a basic idea. So, make this a little bigger where we can see it. So if we were just to do a basic 8x10 crop here and we're going to try and have our, our lighthouse somewhere right around in this intersection and just like that. That, that would be a pretty standard cropping in this image which is not bad and um, I'll save a copy of that and try something different though. But what I want you to try and do is when you're working on something like this, go ahead and try something different. Go up here to your 8x10 and instead of 8x10, throw some different numbers up here. Try cutting that in half to 4x10. Drag it out again and it's going to give you a totally different look. One of the things to keep in mind when you're doing a landscape using these rule of thirds is a lot of times you want that horizon line to hit on one of these lines. Not always, but it's just kind of a good rule of thumb. So you can try it both ways. You can try this way. It should give us a shot like that. Or you have the bottom going along the horizon, more like that. Kind of depends on if you want more, more clouds or more ocean. Uh, I think I kind of like the a little more ocean option. So if we crop this thing like this and you look at that shot and just compare it to the 8x10. It's got a completely different feel from the 8x10. It's got a much more of a sweeping landscape feel to it. Um, and It's kind of a personal preference. You, you might like the 8x10 size better but for me that's a lot more exciting image. So work with trying to do different size crops and things like that and one of the things you'll need to do is figure out with your lab how um, they work with giving odd sizes like that. It's generally not a big problem and what you can always do is print this out on an, an 8x10 and you'll just have extra white uh, which you just trim off but not being bound to those restrictions of a 5x7 or 8x10 really gives you a lot more creative freedom. So play around with it and make sure you're using all the options that come with the crop tool because it, it really is a powerful way to steer your image to you know the, the maximum potential. So play around with it and if you have any questions be sure to let me know and I hope you'll check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.